So this is the men's lightweight division, and this is Radoslav Rosanov of Bulgaria. I saw him win a bronze medal at last year's World Youth Championships. Lost to Reito Satsumi of Japan in his semi-final. Satsumi went on to win gold and outstanding boxer of the tournament. He had a fantastic couple of weeks at Sumi, so no disgrace in that for Rosanov, European youth champion. They're excited about him in Bulgarian boxing. He beat Gianluca Russo of Italy 5-0 in his semi-final. He's up against Murat Yildirim of Germany. He's not too experienced at this level. A split decision win 3-2 against Russia's Artur Subankulov in his semi. Both had points deducted. This is their sixth finalist, Bulgaria. They've had one gold so far. That came from Stanimir Petrova yesterday. But high hopes, certainly high hopes for Rosanov that he can do the business for the home nation here. He's in the red, Yildirim of Germany in the blue. Head up, roll, roll, no holding. Listen to my command, okay? Good luck. <laughs> Rosanov, Southport, Yildirim in the orthodox stance there. Sets those feet nice and wide, Rosanov gives himself a good base to punch off. Moves in there, finds a left hand to the body. Both of these two will be looking to try and keep their lead foot on the outside of their opponents. That's the kind of battle for real estate, if you like, ring real estate that these two will be waging. They'll tread on each other's feet at times. That's standard for Orthodox against South. Paul Rosanov with a left hand counter there. Just about landed, I think. Looking to try and flick that jab. Holds those gloves up high, quite wide. Yildirim with his lead hand that little bit lower. Long left hand. I don't think quite got there to the body from Rosanov. These two just standing on the borderline of range here. Just seeing if they can find that range right hand from Yildirim again not easy to tell if these are reaching the target or not and most of the time if they are it's it's by the barest of margins midway through round one not much to pick between these two yet good right hand there though from Yildirim that definitely landed Rosanov was coming forward you saw his head just give there as that glove landed so this is pretty even. He was short with the right hand there, Yildirim, but he rolled away to his left hand side after he threw it. Looking for a little uppercut on the break there. Rosanov. There's that right hand again. And the referee is giving a standing count there, and I think that's a slip really from Yildirim more than anything else because he landed a right hand there. It was a good shot. Uh, maybe one came back simultaneously. Maybe there was a little bit of a tangle of the front feet, but the fact that the standing count has been given by the referee won't necessarily have any bearing on the scoring of our five judges at ringside. Looking for that right, again Yildirim. Right hand from Rosenelf, high on the head, final few seconds, and this just heating up as we get towards the end of the round. I'd be interested to see how this does get scored because there's not been much in this. Not been much in it at all. And again, he ends up on the canvas there. And there's a bit of blood coming from somewhere. I can see it on the, on the side of his neck there and on the back for Yildirim, again he threw that right hand as he was throwing the right hand, he must have got caught with something, quite a lot of blood there coming from a, a wound on the back of his head there I think, a clash of heads you would imagine 
but the finish to the round there for Yildirim was not good because he had two standing counts. As I say, they won't necessarily have that much bearing with the ringside judges, but it's not a great look to end up on your backside twice. Both times he protested, it was over. Well, it was on the side of the ring where it was difficult for me to really see whether the counter from Rosanov landed. I saw the right hands from Yildirim. All ten, or five judges rather, have gone 10-9 in favour of Rosanov. It would be difficult not to when you see somebody put down twice. Good hand speed there from Rosanov. Well, the left hand didn't really land all that clean there. It was kind of the inside of the glove. He maybe dragged him down a little bit. So I can see why Yildirim wasn't too impressed with that. So into the second round. Rosanov with his nose in front. Right hand to the chest there from Yildirim. He's got to go after him in this second round now. That's the thing about these three round fights. You drop the first round and you've got a task on your hands. Dips low to his left and then tried to shovel the right hand over the top there, Yildirim. Looking to get close and let his hands go, but just got a bit too tight to Rosanov there. Smothered his punches. Nice left hand there from Rosanov. Found good range and stepped off to his right. Threw a couple more. And I think the fact that Yildirim's having to commit here is, is suiting Rosanov. Left hand there from Rosanov. You heard the applause from the crowd around me. I think a gum shield has come out here. It's yielder him, so they'll need to rinse that off. Both of these two just get a little rest while that happens. Rosanov just keeping his man turning. Yildirim in the centre of the ring. Rosanov just working around him. Left hand there from Yildirim. No great power on it, but it did land. Uppercut on the inside there from Rosanov. Into the final minute of round two. Single left hand from Rosanov, and his feet just got a little bit stuck there. Yildirim through the one two back. There's that right hand again from Yildirim. Kind of pulls it through with that left. The left was short, I don't think deliberately so. But it's the right, almost a a lead right he throws at times, which is the more likely to land. <laughs> nice counter there from Rosanov. And it was interesting there, you see, you see Yildirim getting close and he moves those hands. It's as if he's looking to try and gauge the distance. He throws a, a two, three punch combination just there and then throws the right hand off the back of that. But it's all a little bit elaborate. Rosanov was able to read him, really, and throw that left. There's that single left hand. Bell goes, and that'll be another round for the red corner which will see Rosanov within touching distance here of winning a gold medal on home turf.
10 lines across the board. So 20 points to 18 in favour of Rosanov. Heading into the final three minutes. Hand again there from Rosanov. That's that's the punch that has done most of the heavy lifting for him. And again on, again on the inside, he picks it well. Yielder him coming forward still here. Looks at the referee there, Rosanov. I think he was expecting a standing count. Yielder him would just roll underneath the punch nicely, but as soon as he let his hands go, the greater hand speed of Rosanov took over and he got pinned with a really good combination. Right hand from Yildirim, he claimed that one. Tense right up until the end for the coaching staff, but they know the scores, they get the scores in the corner right at the start of the minutes break in between rounds, so they'll be aware that the Rosanov is in control here and that barring any kind of disaster in this final round, it would take a, a stoppage pretty much at this point. He's going to win here. Lead right uppercut. Just dipped to his right hand side and threw it. He's thrown some really eye catching shots here, Rosanov, and you can understand why they've got high hopes for him. In the seniors, having won that bronze at the World Youth last year. waiting to spring forward there and looks out at the crowd as he threw that one two and then stepped into the left hand side of the ring again just looking out of the ring well into the final minute he's enjoying himself in there Radislav Rosanov and there's every reason that he should Final 10 seconds. And the crowd will know when the final bell goes here that, that he's got this one in the bag. The referee just having a little word with him there. Rightly so, rightly so. Touch of gloves between the two. Good fight to watch. Yielder him, put plenty into that. First couple of minutes of the opening round, there wasn't much in it at all. Then he got put down a couple of times towards the end of the round. Rosanov really from that point onwards taking over and he will get a well-deserved gold medal. So Rosanov gets it, and they've got their second gold medal, Bulgaria. Stanimira Petrova got one yesterday. And now Rosanov has followed suit. Silver medal for Yildirim, so a very good week's work for him too. And the crowd's on their feet around me here. They're used to seeing plenty of success in the strand here for Bulgarian fighters, and he won every round, every round on all five scorecards
So Bulgaria go to two gold medals alongside India, Kazakhstan and Ireland. Russia are on four, Uzbekistan still leading the way with five. Russia could level that up though in the final fight of the session. Women's featherweight, their fighter Daria Abramova is up against Bulgaria again though, Svetlana Kamenova boxing out of the blue corner for the host nation, their final finalist.